The Kalispell Warhawks have made it to yet another national championship game. It's their fourth straight appearance, but this team is far different than any of the teams we saw the last three years. After graduating one of the best senior classes in Kalispell history, it looked like the Warhawks were set for some major regression, especially after opening the season 1-2. After losses to Minnesota and Penn State, the national championship was the last thing on my mind. But we made it to Pac-12 play and began to show we were still the team to beat. Even with all the freshmen and players getting their first shot at playing time, the Warhawks could still lean on a veteran-focused defense behind senior defensive captain Jamari Akinjide, cornerback Daniel Foster, cornerback Juno Springs, and middle linebacker James Huggins. This is still the top defense in college football. And over the course of this season, we've developed one of the best up and coming offenses as well. Quarterback Luke Irvin enjoyed a great freshman campaign alongside freshman receiver Sherrod Edwards and tight end Drake Maddox. We even had backups on past teams get a chance to play. Tyrone Houston and Austin Jenkins stepped in as the veterans of the offense and each had double-digit touchdowns on the year. Kalispell developed the number five passing offense in college football this year and closed incredibly strong. Nobody could cover Drake Maddox down the stretch and then Austin Jenkins ran himself into Kalispell history with his record-breaking 303-yard performance. With nine consecutive victories, the Warhawks have a lot of momentum coming into this game. And they're looking to build upon this championship legacy. For the fourth straight season, welcome to the national championship. The Florida Gators are the opponent this year, ranked the number one team in the country and the champions of the SEC. They have the nation's top-ranked rushing offense and the second all-time FBS rushing leader in senior Robert Carroll, who is on the brink of a 2,000-yard campaign. He's played, improved, and dominated for four years. This top-ranked rush defense for Kalispell will meet their greatest test. For Florida, they are missing their senior quarterback, Joe Green. Freshman Raymond Singleton will make his fourth career start today. And that means here in the national championship, we have two true freshmen starting at quarterback. The wait is now over. Kalispell and Florida. Who's going to take home the crystal ball? The Gators have won the toss and have deferred to the second half. The Warhawks will open with possession. From New Orleans, welcome everybody to this year's national championship. The Warhawks will open at the 25. Luke Irvin under center for Kalispell following a false start. It's first and 15, and his first throw is picked off. This is Mike Kane on the interception, and the Gators will take over in scoring position after just one play. Kane is a defensive lineman playing linebacker on this snap. The throw was intended for Sherrod Edwards. And here is the Gator offense with Raymond Singleton under center. He's got motion and now a lane to run to the right side. He's hit down by Jamari Yakinjide as he picks up nine. Now they line up in the flex bone and Singleton tries to keep it again. He won't get the first. Hit hard by James Huggins to force third and short. Again from the flex bone. Now running left, flipping out. This is Robert Carroll taken down near the 10. Gain of four and a first down. Number 25, RJ Bailey also has 1,400 rushing yards on the season. And there's Brandon Williams on the stop. Kalispell's front will play very aggressive today. And Singleton taken down again. Brandon Williams is there for the tackle for loss. And Singleton now comes out of the game. He's getting some attention on the sideline. And R.J. Bailey is the third string quarterback. And off his back foot, Bailey's got Parrish just outside of the end zone. 
Bailey, who normally plays running back, also has some quarterback skills, and they're going to go for it. Fourth and goal, they flip it, and Carroll's in for the touchdown. Florida capitalizes. And if R.J. Bailey remains at quarterback, he was an athlete coming out of high school, he can handle that responsibility. It is 7-0 Gators as Kalispell comes back for their second possession, and there is Drake Maddox refusing to go down. Irvin now with 13 interceptions on the season as he hands to Jenkins, who gets about two on the counter. Irvin right around 3,400 passing yards on the season. On second and eight, he connects with fellow freshman Sherrod Edwards, and this gets six. Edwards close to 700 yards on the year. Third and short, dive up the middle. It's a first down run picked up by Austin Jenkins. Kalispell now in Florida territory. And here's the rush on the way, and Irvin's got a connection over the middle to wide open Drake Maddox. It goes for 18. Maddox trying to get to 900 receiving yards today. And he'll get closer on this catch. On first down, he converts with an 11 yard catch and run. Good drive being put together after the opening interception. Jenkins now gets a block in the second level and has eight more. Kalispell slowly working their way down the field. Now Jim Jackson checks in and he falls ahead for another first down to make it goal to go. Nick Lindsay aligns to the right. Just four on the rush. Irvin chased outside to his right. Running out of room now, he fires for the touchdown! Nick Lindsay! Kalispell will tie it. It's Lindsay's second score of the season at the perfect time. That's the response they needed. And for Florida, Raymond Singleton back in and there's miscommunication and another big tackle for loss. They've gotten a lot of hits on Singleton already. And he's back to pass on third, down with a strike across the middle to James Johnson for 17. Singleton has four passing touchdowns on the year. He'll throw on first down now, it's Parrish across midfield. Back-to-back -back passes, was not expecting that from Florida. Totally different alignments and approach on this drive. Now a third and 10, Singleton down the sideline, it's Carey breaking open. And he's inside the 20 with a 31-yard catch. What an impressive drive they're putting together. Singleton hit again by James Huggins, and that'll lose a yard. Huggins already with two tackles behind the line. It's third and eight for Florida. Singleton connects, carry to the goal line, and he's in for a touchdown. The Gators score again, perhaps in even more impressive fashion. They showed they could do it with the passing game on that drive. 14-7, pressure on Irvin. That throw didn't come out cleanly. It's incomplete. First quarter nearly over, now a third and 10. Irvin steps up, fires on the move, caught first down, it's Edwards. That time it was very soft coverage and he got a few extra there at the end. Drake Maddox now on the slot. They love this look, and they'll run the draw from it. It's Jenkins, maybe getting two. He was hit quickly. Lindsay slot right. Blitz sent off the edge. Irvin slides away. Caught by Lindsay, having to come back for it and giving up ground. Losing three in the process. A stop for the Gators. There's a lot to be impressed with this Gators start. Up seven. Single ten wrapped up quickly, and that's the key. Force quick decisions and quickly get in the backfield. Now it's third down and Singleton's got his receiver. It's Phil McGill for 15 and a first down. Singleton very sharp on these passes so far. Now Carroll muscling ahead through contact, getting nine. This offensive line's getting some good push as well. Third and short, there's the flip and the first down picked up by Carroll. He's got much more. Across the 40, it's a gain of 15. They go to a split backfield look on third and four. Raymond Singleton, pressure in his face. To the outside, it's Foster out of bounds. No interception, but so close. A field goal makes it a 10-point game here in the first half. Irvin starts this possession. This is complete. 
Sherrod Edwards again across the middle getting 10. Three catches now for Edwards. And they sweep it to the right. Here goes Jenkins. He's got room. Cuts up field off the block from Thomas Henderson. It's an 18-yard rush. Nice start for Jenkins. New set of downs, and Irvin gets it out quickly, and that's complete. Thomas Henderson inside the 20. Bunch formation on second down for Kalispell. Pressure right through the middle, and Irvin gets it away somehow. It's complete to Jim Jackson. And that'll make it just third down in inches. Jenkins checks back in. On third down, he's got it spinning ahead. Picking up six. Goal to go, Kalispell. Two tight ends on the field. Fake to Jenkins. Roll out right. Irvin being chased. He'll try to turn up field, and he's pushed out of bounds around the one. Now in their goal line, look. Third and goal. It's Jenkins, and he's in for the touchdown. Austin Jenkins with his 13th rushing score. And we're back to a one-score game. We have ourselves a good game thus far in just a couple minutes till halftime. Carroll will run up the middle, and he's met by James Huggins. Four yards. Inside two minutes now. Here's a third and five for Singleton. He'll dump it off. Carroll, he's close, and has it despite the hit from Williams Robert Carroll getting a lot of involvement early in this game and now they'll throw it short Williams breaking tackles this is what Kalispell can't afford they've got to win first down flex bone again Carroll motions on third and three Singleton keeping and he lost the football Bryant scoops and Bryant inside the 20 will give Kalispell the lead touchdown Warhawks that's if this stands of course it looked like a clean fumble to me James Huggins on the hit well let's take another look that left knee does come down and it's overturned. Now Kalispell will have to get a little more from the offense to take the lead. Sully on the return. It's a good one. Across the 30. Flag down. And now they'll back up. So no lead for Kalispell. And bad field position. And little time to change that before the half. Down to 7 seconds. Third and short. Irvin on the roll. He'll dump it off. Caught Houston. Breaking a tackle. And the Warhawks call a timeout with two seconds left. We're about to find out if Irvin can throw it 70 yards or not. Last play. He's got to get it out there. They got the numbers advantage. But at the sideline, out of bounds. Catch was made by Sherrod Edwards. A lot of yards there, but Kalispell will take this three-point deficit into the half and look to regroup for the third quarter. You always expect a tough challenge here in the national championship, and the Gators have brought it. Their backup quarterback now turns starter. Raymond Singleton has been fantastic, and they've done a wonderful job of mixing up the offense. Here is Carroll from the I formation, gain of six. This is not a team that comes out in one formation the entire time. They will mix it up as much as they need to, and it's leading to a lot of production. This is one of the least predictable option teams I've seen. Singleton's got room to run on second down. He's got the first and more and will take all that contact as he picks up 15 yards. Safety down, Akinjide. And now Singleton caught. It's Phil McGill. Gain of 11. When they have wanted to throw two, they've given Singleton great pockets. Here's another with a strong throw to the boundary. Parrish on the reception. Set up now in the red zone. Here's Singleton. He's got a block on the safety. He's inside the five and is not into the end zone apparently. Singleton is out again, and now Louisiana native Mike Sands is at quarterback. Sands flips, and Robert Carroll scores. Touchdown, Gators. Another fantastic drive and a two-score lead for Florida. They really have this Warhawk defense looking uncomfortable. 
Ten point game now as Kalispell has their first drive of the second half. And here's a shot downfield. And Edwards makes the catch. He'll break away and answer back. Touchdown. 75 yards. One play. The freshman connection strikes. And let's watch that back one more time. In double coverage, he comes down with it and finishes the play. And now we have an injury update. Raymond Singleton will not be returning to this game. He was hurt on his last carry, and that means we're going to see R.J. Bailey play quarterback. And Bailey hands it to Carroll, who spins ahead. He's got the first down yardage and a bit more. Bailey ran for 1,400 yards this year, and he can throw. So this is not going to be easy, even with the Gators down to their third string quarterback and their fourth when they go to the flex bone. Bailey third and nine, off balance and throwing short. Carroll with a lot of ground to make up. He's not going to get there, and the Warhawks have forced a punt. Trying to get momentum on their side. Kalispell down three. Here's Irvin finding some comfort and airing it out again to an open Drake Maddox who makes the catch. 40 yards on the connection. Here come the Warhawks. At the 34 of Florida. Irvin to the sideline. Caught by Tyrone Houston with great sideline awareness. They're already two for two in the red zone. Hand off Jenkins. Good cut. And he's got seven more. Two tight ends on the field. Irvin from under center, throwing very quickly. Thomas Henderson makes another catch. He's got four and a first. They isolate Edwards out to the left. On first down, pressure. Irvin got away from it and found Edwards for the touchdown. The Warhawks have their first lead of this game. Sherrod Edwards is hungry. Two touchdowns already in the half, and now the Warhawks pull in front, just like that. Got to be some pressure now on Florida, but watch out. Here's Bailey in the secondary, cut from behind by the speedy Tommy Jordan. R.J. Bailey under center. This is the flex bone, and there's a big hit delivered from Brandon Williams. Kalispell needs more of these tackles behind the line. Third and 13 now, and it's going to be Mike Sands. Sands complete. This is Johnson getting eight, and Florida will have to kick again. When the Warhawks get on a roll, this is what can happen. In a quarter's time, they can take over a game. Now, they're only up four. There's still a long way to go, but this is a tremendous quarter for them. First and 10, Irvin gets it away. That's caught right on time for Maddox. He may have thrown a pick on his first throw of the day, but he's been sharp since then. Now Jenkins trying to run up the middle, and he is stuffed. It'll be third and short. Jim Jackson checks in, but they are not running. Instead, underneath it is Tyrone Houston moving the chains. Now from the empty set, Jenkins all the way across the formation. Quick screen. Jenkins on the final play of the third quarter picks up a couple. And that'll take us to the fourth quarter. Kalispell up four in driving. Third down, deflected and nearly picked off. What a big deflection for Florida as they'll force a kick. The Gators definitely needed that as their offense has already punted twice in a row. Parrish fighting through Springs tackle and then met by Huggins. No gain. Second down, flex bone. Bailey meant he's going down. Another hit from Huggins who tried to rip the ball out. That forces third and long. Now the secondary can back off a little. Bailey from inside the five taking a shot and nearly getting picked off by Jordan. They'll punt for the third straight time. Starting in Gator territory, first down Kalispell and they'll sweep it to the right. Good block on the outside, Jenkins sprung to the edge and falling ahead to the 30 as he crosses the 100 yard mark. In field goal range now, pressure sent at Irvin, he'll back away from it and get the ball out, it's caught by Houston. Florida's created a lot of pressure, but Irvin's done such a good job at avoiding sacks. New set of downs, and now they're going to get to him. That one a little too quick. Evan Smith on the sack. 
Gators trying to hold Kalispell to the field goal try. Here's a throw over the middle, complete. Jenkins getting around 12, and that makes it third and six. Kalispell has to get to about the eight of Florida. They'll face some pressure. Good coverage as well. Irvin outside, extending things, and finds Edwards shy of the sticks. And the Gators will force the field goal. Touchdown game now, and the Gators have only scored once in this second half. R.J. Bailey trying to get this offense going. Here goes Carroll at midfield, and now out of bounds in Kalispell territory after a run of 26. They've struggled a bit since Singleton left. Bailey first down, under pressure and going down. Not sure if they'll call that a sack. They probably should. That was Braylon Kendrick. Second down, flipping for Carroll, and great blocking on the outside. And down the sideline goes Robert Carroll for 12. Carroll close to 100 rushing, and that's going to be a full start. That'll back up a third and one into a third and six. Bailey delayed. Now Forte bouncing and brought down. Clearly there with the run. That signals four down territory. Gators are going for it. I form behind RJ Bailey. And they'll fake the dive and flip it. It's Powers breaking tackles. He's got the first down. Preston Powers on his first touch saves the drive. New set of downs. Bailey hit behind the line and wrapped up. That time it's Bryant. Second down and 13 for the Gators. Flipping out to Powers. Inside the 30 and a good tackle by Brandon Williams. Third and eight. With this being four down territory, I'd look run, but it's play action. Bailey to the outside. It's caught! Graham Mays going up for it, makes a sensational grab. And now it's goal to go. Sands back in, Forte up the middle, and this time not much. Good wrap up by Jordan. Florida using all their depth on this possession. Sands to the left, flips it out to Johnson, and he's in for the touchdown. True freshman James Johnson has tied the game at 31 with two and a half minutes left. What a game we've had today. And now Kalispell trying to control these final minutes. Irvin throwing short, this is Maddox first down. They've gotta find a way to get in field goal range. Jim Jackson in the game, first and 10. It's a quick slant, nice hit by Kane. Only a three yard pickup. Three receivers out there, Lindsey slot left. Irvin on second down, is hit and lost the football, and the Gators recover it. Florida has taken over with a minute 15 left to go. They got around the right tackle, Sylvester Rosthorn. It is Johnson on the hit. I believe he's the one who also knocked away that third down pass. And now the Gators have the opening. R.J. Bailey throwing, it's cut by Preston Powers and they'll get four. Kalispell is forced to use their timeouts. Running right, Powers got some room and is hit down. He got some good yardage, now third and two. Biggest play of the year for the Kalispell defense. And they make the play, James Huggins on the blitz, tackles David Forte, and it's fourth down. So Florida with a chance to take the lead. Short field goal try, and it's through. 34-31, and one minute left for Kalispell to complete the comeback and continue the legacy. It all comes down to this drive right here. They at least need three. Irvin short and good coverage holds Maddox to just a few. They can only stop the clock with the sideline and first downs. Irvin steps up and dumps it off for Maddox, a one-handed catch, and he'll head to the sideline. Third down now for Kalispell. 36 seconds remain, there's a blitz and they got to Irvin again! They brought one too many! Victor Johnson with three huge plays in this half! And Kalispell, desperate and down to fourth and 12. Only 18 seconds left. Irvin gets it out, and it's caught! First down, Nick Lindsay. It's not over. 
Still 14 seconds to work with, but still a lot of work to get in field goal range. Outside Jenkins, and he gets out of bounds. That could have been the final play right there. Not a good call. Nine seconds remain. Four rush. Irvin lobs to the sideline. It's deflected away. And we're down to just four seconds left. All they can do is go for the touchdown. The national championship will come down to this play. Empty backfield, four wide plus Maddox. Time runs out, Irvin gets it away, and it's incomplete. The Florida Gators are national champions once again. The confetti falls, and for the first time in four years, the Warhawks are no longer the national champions. The Gators came in and they played one heck of a game today. Robert Carroll is named the MVP. He ran for 93 yards. He had two touchdowns. That was a resilient performance. And unfortunately it had to happen against our team. Down to their third and fourth string quarterbacks at times. And this Gator offense was very impressive. Out of every option offense I've seen in this game, that was by far the most impressive from a play calling standpoint. They were the least predictable option team I've seen. They ran multiple formations. And I thought their play calling was really, really good. As far as our offense goes, after that first interception, I thought we did so many good things. We picked up big plays. I was able to extend things with Luke Irvin, avoid a ton of pressure until the fourth quarter. They picked up two sacks in that fourth quarter, including a forced fumble, and they take it. It looked like after the third quarter, we had taken the game, but they took it back. And that means no championship this year for Calvispell and our first three loss season in five years. It's been a great run with this team, and we nearly got another with a very different version of this team. And it's a team that will graduate some senior impact players like Jamari Yakinjide and Juno Springs, Tommy Jordan. But this team still has a lot of youth, and they could definitely be in this conversation again a year from now. Although I think next year we'll have a much tougher schedule, and of course there will be a year 12. Now, I'm not sure exactly when the offseason is going to be. I am looking to start a new series on the channel, and I have some things to figure out in these next couple weeks. So I will keep you posted for the next offseason here as we get prepared for year 12. We'll get a Stanford game next year. We're, of course, going to meet Montreal Bonds. There's a lot to look forward to. So thank you for supporting this series. I hope you still had a good time today. Please leave a like if you did. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll have more Kalispell Dynasty coming your way. Have a great day, everybody.